Good afternoon and welcome back everybody to another fine installment here at the Artist Corner where your friendly neighborhood illustrator, Mr. Dave Joyner, brings you high quality tutorials on a regular basis. Today we're going to be using this, I'm going to be, uh, <clears throat> I want to mention, thank you to my very good friends, uh, Joanne Trotter and Ron Quimby. They sent me a lovely set of drawing tools and paper and supplies all kinds of stuff so uh i wanted to just say thank you to you guys i love you thank you so much uh and then also now we are going to put some of it to use on this tutorial i'm going to uh go ahead and just go in here i mean i i uh was talking with my friend and we were talking about things that i should talk about on the show and um, she thought that uh, it would be a good idea to mention you, to you about texturing. And texturing is a very individual kind of thing. And you'll find a lot of artists do it in different ways. I'm kind of doing a zigzag motion right now. But I'm also crisscrossing my lines. And it's sort of uniform. But this technique could be easily manipulated to do wood grain. Um, and to, to say that this is the only way to do it, it would be wrong, but, you know, <clears throat> everybody has got their own little way of doing things, so, uh, I thought that maybe that might be worth mentioning. We're going to come in here now, I'm going to put a little black in there, there's some finger blackness in here, most of this is actually pretty dark. I would suspect that um, we're going to go ahead and come and put some lines in here. My other friend had said that my work reminded him a lot of uh, the stuff that Bernie Wrightson used to do, which I also found very flattering um, to be compared to somebody like that. Amazing, amazing artist, Bernie Wrightson. Check him out if you haven't already. So we've got the this witchy witchy woman anyway had to do that so I'm just sort of coming in here now and making some decisions on sh shadows and shades um, obviously sh there's a sort of a clothing issue here we got, got clothes and and uh, this shadowing I like this sort of faded into the darkness look of the clothing. Um, I'm going to come down here. I'm, I'm creating a border. We're bordering in this illustration. Uh, there may be more to this stonework. I haven't decided yet, but uh, it'll probably be in pencil. So we will have to see. And then we've got this one over here. And I'll definitely be coming in with uh, more pencil. Um, but let's just do our outlines for now. We know we got that, and now we're going to come over here. And I'm going to go ahead and pause. And here we are with most of the <clears throat> line work for the graveyard finished. This is this the heavy line work done with uh, this uh, new pen from my friends. And I'm going to go ahead and now put it down because it's actually got a wider line width than I want to use for this character. So I'm going to come in now and start to, we're going to go ahead and make some decisions. And we're going to put her eyes in here. And she's definitely uh, not, I'm not sure, remember what we've said about, about when we do a female face, we want to make sure that we don't um, put in too many lines. We want to keep this kind of simple. She's got her mouth open. She's definitely yelling out or calling out. You know, it's one of those things is somebody there? I don't know. So she's not sure. So she's calling out. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Then we got her hands, which are kind of balled up into fists, probably because she's a 
afraid. It's one of these positions of she's got one fist there. We've got this fist up here. And a fist is actually a very common uh, position, hand position to draw. It's one of the easier ones. Um, we've got to do here, and there's. Well, anyway, there is an arm, and a dress. Shoulder is behind the hair, and a lot of this line. It's sort of just I'm picturing this person in my head. There is no um, photograph to work from. I want to uh, stress that this is very visceral for me. Uh, visceral, the word for the day. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'll be right back. And now we are coming in here and we are still working with the good old trusty uh, Dixon Ticonderoga and framing in this piece of art, um, making some decisions, some final decisions. And I'm not sure, but I think we're going to go ahead and leave our character in this position where we don't know exactly if this is a bad person or not and uh, so we know that this is uh, this is this would be where if you were writing the story this might be a new chapter so we'll go ahead and leave it there see where it ends out and there we are back again this time I'm going to take a moment here we're going to come in here and work on the sky I want to go ahead and just talk to you a little bit about what happens here. Uh, we got a sky where it's nighttime, <clears throat> and we want the horizon to be a little lighter than up here. So we can come in here and designate that this will be darker, keeping my lines all going in the same direction. I will slowly darken this zone in and as we get closer to the horizon we're going to fade it out. And we're just going to go in reverse as we go up this side of the illustration allowing it to get darker as we go to the top. To be honest, you could potentially come in here and really do this in black ink, which I may do. I haven't decided yet. Depends on how sharp I want that illustration to, to how badly I want that to look like nighttime sky. But we are going to go ahead and put down the pencil and we're going to pick up one of these new uh, razor, pilot razors that I picked up from my wonderful friends and we're going to come in here and illustri illustrate in these clouds just a little bit not too much because we want to definitely break up the illustration with them without these clouds I think it wouldn't be uh, we're going to go ahead and there we go Make sure we got a. I may even decide. Maybe put some marks on the moon. And we're going to put some dark darkness on them just a little bit. There we go. All right. So. We have got this lunar illustration, some clouds in here. Remembering that the clouds are being illuminated by the moon at this point. So any shadows you're going to see are going to be cast 
So we got a, a floating object, okay, and it's going over our sky. So the moon is casting light this way. We're going to see the light casting here, but we can also see light casting here along this side, but not here and then here as well. Now we can come in with our darker pencil, remembering that this side of our cloud would be darker because it's technically uh, it's thick. It's a thickness issue. So it's really thick over here. Uh, the, the thickness of the cloud is preventing the light from the moon getting all the way through. So you end up with this thickness over there and I'm rushing the uh, rushing it a little bit but you know uh, we want to make sure to get this illustration done in time uh, same over here we've got thickness and my values aren't really un I don't think really dark enough in the sky in this illustration so I'll be right back I'm gonna go ahead and darken up the value of the sky and we're back again and look at that it's nighttime now the character I'm still gonna come in here now and uh, clean up this edge just a little I want to uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and leave the halo effect around the clouds I kinda like it and in here a little bit and over here clean up around the moon and around the tops of these trees and this crawls are we crawls are we crawls anyway if you guys know where I'm quoting that from let me know down in the comments section let's see how many friends out there I got that watch the same movies I have. That's an older one too. Thanks mom, never mind. I didn't say it loud enough for them. Oh yeah, this thing picks up, you'd be surprised. Oh. Uh, well if you didn't hear my mother, quote down in the section down there below and tell me if you can remember what movie that, that line is from. Just curious. I know right? It's my, one of my favorites. I'll give you one hint. V. Kilmer. <laughs> anyway alrighty then everybody I want to come in here and I'm going to do just a little bit more and then I'll be back for final words oh wait I guess we're out of time well I hope you enjoyed this illustration and join me again next time here at the artist corner for wonderful tutorials thank you and I hope you enjoyed this lovely episode here at the artist corner and this is the it and i will join you again next time for a different story bye bye